Alright, so this is Destiny 2 in Call of Duty Zombies. The map's called Exodus Blue. I believe it's a map from Destiny 2's multiplayer. It's a one-to-one -one port, and already, this looks amazing. It looks like we have, I want to say this is the Advanced Warfare 1911. I can tell because of the sound effect. It did kind of sound like a tin can, but anyway. I've wanted to play this map for a while, but when I was going to originally, someone else who shall not be named basically did a video titling it the exact same as I would. Said person has since quit, so you you know, it is what it is, and I'm glad they've found fulfillment in what they're doing now. But anyway, back to the map. Um, so we've got some interesting stuff. We've got some Cold War perks. AW weapons are double points, not at the end of the round. Oh my god, this is the best start I've ever had. Insta-kill as well. Oh, you're just treating me now. So we've got some kind of um, buttons we have to press to enable Pack-a-Punch. They're scattered across the map. We have a free perk Easter egg as well, which we will get to. Which way do we want to go? We've got a door here for 750 and one here for 750. I can see a, is that teddy bear in the corner, I think? Uh, honestly, I'll go this way. Just because I was going to go that way, and usually I'm wrong with my instincts. So, what we got going on over here? Oh, is this one of the buttons? Hey, it is. There we go. One of three done. Do we have a gun somewhere? I actually recognize this map. I haven't played too much of Destiny. Oh, what's this? Can we actually... <laughs> I would love to get loot out of here, but... Yeah, what I did play of Destiny was pretty good, though. It's one of those games where I totally play it more, but it you have to sink so much time into it, and I've already got raid for that. Also, this Bulldog, I don't know, they must have buffed it, but look at that hip fire. That is way more accurate than the original Bulldog, but not complaining. Double nuke and a death machine. Which one is it? It's the, oh, it's the Cold War one. Probably my favorite. Actually, I was talking about this in the Wipeout map. It's kind of very similar to the Black Ops 1, though. One, 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 though, anyway. Oh my god, that's a mouthful. Also, I just realized I might not even do the Wipeout map on this day I'm recording, which is Tuesday. Could end up being this map, so, hey, spoilers for what the next one's going to be, but hey, I just said A twice. Oh, this is a soul box. Oh, nice. Oh, that's good. Um, let's just stay by it and get some kills then. We have another door here for 1250. We've got double tap all the way in the back. I'm actually going to keep this door shut for now just because, whoa, glitchy textures. Just because I think it will speed up the, the spawns. Nice little technique for anyone who's uh, doing, you know, zombie stuff. Also, I love the bulldog, man. It makes me so sad. They've wanted to make Advanced Warfare 2 for years. It, it came out in 2014. It's been 10 years now. And despite what everyone says, Advanced Warfare was not a bad game. The supply drop system, yes, that was very pay to win. It was kind of scummy. But, you know, relative to everything we have to deal with now, with Activision and Modern Warfare and all that crap, it, like, supply drops weren't even that bad, to be honest. I'd rather go back to it. Well, actually, no, I wouldn't. <laughs> like, part of me wants to, but if they brought it back now, it would be even worse. But the main reason I love Advanced Warfare is just the weapons are iconic. What did we get for that? Did we get some points? The zombies, like the cutscenes and everything was pretty good. Whether you like the maps or not, another double points. We're getting such good drop RNG, actually. I think we've got, are these are the last two? No, is it you? Yes, there we go. 10,000 points. What else was I going to say? Oh yeah, just the fact that the devs clearly were just having more fun with it. They always do this whenever they play, they make like a futuristic type game. The devs should be allowed to make the product that they actually want to. That's what Sledgehammer games have wanted to do for for the last god knows how long and they've just been forced to work on modern warfare and shit like come on give them a break you know i read that lee ross and jason blundell were working on a zombies standalone competitor game at one point in time and now it's no longer a thing which is just so so sad you have no idea oh here we go bug bottle that's one of them. We've got six more to go. Should be fairly easy to spot, actually. We've got another button as well. Perfect. Two out of three. ASM1. If you remember Destiny, I mean, Advanced Warfare, God. You'll remember how bloody broken this gun was. We've got the elemental pop machine over here. Are these Plague Hounds from Cold War? Oh my God, they are. Okay, that's cool. I was actually a big lover of the ASM-1 before it was broken, like literally day one of the game releasing. It was my go-to SMG, just because it's basically the futuristic Tommy gun. I mean, the speakeasy vari variation or variant, that's the word, has a round drum magazine. That kind of says it all, really. All right, we've got a door over here. We've got another soul box. We have speed cola. I want to say power is around here somewhere. There's got to be, where's the last button at? Oh, we found the mystery box, though. This looks like a powery room. Yeah, there we go. We have a bell 27 on the wall as well. <laughs> Should I run the ASM one and the bell? This is like 
ultimate sacrilegiousness for um, people who hate advanced warfare, but it's fine. I got a death machine now. We're all good. I'm curious what guns we have in the box, actually. So let's go for a spin. Pew, 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 pew. We have, I see an A4 in there. Speak of the devil. Okay, I'll take it. A laser gun. Very cool. I've actually wanted to use advanced warfare guns for a while, so it's nice that this map is basically giving me an excuse to. If I remember correctly, doesn't this gun regenerate ammo? Does it do it on this version as well? Doesn't look like it. Unless I'm thinking of a different gun, but anyway. We have double tap over here. You know what? I'll buy it. Sure. That is a pretty nice view. Destiny 2 and Destiny in general just has a lot of cool aesthetics. I mean, this is a nice looking base map. All right. Pew, 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 pew. I know I'm buying double tap and stamina up before jug crazy right but just seems more fun to me oh was this cold war deadshot because if it is i mean it's the cold war machine but sometimes they just put the standard bo3 version in cold war deadshot is one of the best perks ever we have another door here and another door here actually but we do have a soul box back here let's go and fill this up first in probably one of the riskiest places but it's fine i'm sure we'll be okay Pew, 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 pew. We got a nuke just in case things go bad. This AE4 is like a one shot now, which is good. Didn't really want to get rid of the ASM one, but I mean, there are so many iconic advanced warfare guns that I actually don't mind. I would love to see an advanced warfare type game that's just boots on the ground. Like literally the exact same game. Oh, actually, let's buy Speed Cola and then we'll get this free perk because apparently there's a perk limit. I got who's who. Why did I do this? Because now I can't buy jug. What have, what have I done? I have a brain sometimes. Very rarely. I also don't have enough points to get in here where jug is. Brilliant. It's fine. We've got another door. Oh, we can't go in here. Okay. I see Pack-a-Punch in there though. So I'm guessing this door's going to open. The garage door. How's the bell with double tap? It seems to be decent. The best part about the bell and the reason it was also very broken, fast fire rate, fast reload. And I believe it started to shoot faster the longer you held it, unless I'm tripping out with that. I also just loved how many DLC guns Advanced Warfare had. I mean, they put like the MP40, the 1911. They clearly wanted to do a World War II type game and that's what came next. So then they made World War II zombies, which again, had a lot of passion put into it. Oh, we have enough points now. Let's go by the door. So where would the next button be? We've got another soul box here. Vulture Raid. Don't really see that very often. That's cool. What's up, Plague Hounds? How's it going? To be honest, I kind of like the fact I don't have Jug because it means the map's a bit more challenging. All right, here we go. Max ammo. Let's just see. What is the perk limit? Yeah, it's like five or something. Oh, the AE4 is actually on the wall. That's cool. Can buy ammo for it, which is nice. Keeping an eye out for perk bottles and its last bloody button. Where could it be? Oh, there was that one door back at spawn, actually. Let's just fill up this soul box next. <gasps> the STG on the wall. The Advanced Warfare STG is one of my favorite guns. I do actually really love it. I wouldn't mind picking it up, but I kind of want to get Mule Kick first. Oh, double, let's go. What are we going to get from this Soul Box, huh? Pack a punched gun or something would be nice, but I, that's kind of re stretching a bit. Oh, <laughs> it's done. I think we got points on the other ones. I'll just assume so anyway. Assume makes an ass out of you and me. Thank you to one of my maths teachers for teaching me that. Another perk bottle. There we go. I would have thought a button would be in here. Screw it. Let's go back to spawn. Let's also check for more soul boxes. All right, door here. So we've not been here before. Widow's Wine. It's kind of cheeky, actually. They hide it behind here so you can't see before you've opened this door. So you can't get Widow's early unless you just buy this door instead. 50-50 chance. With a death machine, I feel like I could cheese it and just spray everywhere and probably shoot one. But oh, here we go. Speed Cola. Got an M1 Garand on the wall. Well, as far as I can see, there's no button. Is it a door? Yeah, it is. Ah, and this takes us to Jug. Okay. Where does this take us? Oh, just back to the edge. Oh, it's just a circle, lol. All right, I'll make an educated guess and say the button is probably going to be... Oh my god, it's right here. Am I that blind? Apparently I am. Good job, me. But there we go. The door's open. Pack-a-punch is available. What we got on here? The IMR. Oh, this was the gun that... 3D printed ammo, which is just cool as fuck, by the way. But let's pack a punch the bell. One of the most iconic guns from Advanced Warfare, and it's got one of the sickest camos ever, the Obsidian Steed. Oh, hell yeah. Now that's sick. That is that is awesome. I think it's like a Derizendrock type camo, but it looks... I don't know. I can't tell which camo this actually is. It almost looks like a mix of every single Black Ops 4 one. I can see a bit of Gorod in there. I can see a bit of Revelations. Kind of like the yellowy Zetsubo one with the, uh, the textures. Well, it's absolutely shredding. I do like the red dot as well from Advanced Warfare. So I guess we'll just work on the perk uh what's it called perk limit increase I'm trying to remember which bottles we've shot 
so far. I think we shot speed cola. Oh, nuke. Nice. I don't normally like getting nukes, but speeds up when I'm trying to actually do things. Oh, there's a door here. What? How did I not even notice this? Gotta be a perk bottle just around here somewhere. I can totally see it. Oh, plague hounds. That's not the high. Oh, here we go. I knew there'd be one hidden. PhD. Makes me think it might be on the map, which would be cool. I don't think there's any more soul boxes, but I could be wrong. Let's go and check its spawn. Also where I'm thinking the next perk bottle might be. Oh God, I'm dead. I got who's who though. Thank God. Oh, I keep forgetting I don't have jug. I have to go and revive myself now. It's incredibly sketch considering I can't see shit right now. Oh my God. Oh my god. How in the ever living hell am I supposed to do this? I'll buy an STG, I guess. I've got to try and. Oh, fuck. Well, this isn't good. Oh, I've got to try and revive. I'm trying to do it. I'm just dead. <laughs> All right, so I've made the executive decision to buy Jug sooner this time. Something I've actually not done in the longest time, I'm going to buy the Bowie Knife so I can get as many points as possible early on. We've also got a double points right now, so it's going to uh, help a huge amount. Like, look, I'm already back up to 2,000. I'm actually not going to fill up the soul boxes just yet. The reason being, if we do get a free perk, I want to make sure I've maxed out my perk limit or whatever so we don't accidentally pick up something we don't want. But uh, here's Elemental Pop. I think that's four perk bottles this game so far. Oh, boxes over here this time. That's cool. Pick up the old PhD as well. Oh, we got the last button here. Nice. Oh, wait, this is really cool. It increases your perk limit based on how many you've shot so far. So because we've shot like five, I want to say our perk limit's about five then. That's actually really, really cool. If only I wasn't blind as a bat, I'd be able to find the rest, but still. All right, let's pick up Double Tap. I love the Bowie Knife, but I swear every time I go for knife kills, I'm going for the lunge as well so i'm just waiting for it to be like oh nuke insta kill oh <laughs> also kind of redundant but i guess it doesn't end the round so there's that three thousand points okay i'm gonna buy speed cola then so just in case this one gives us a free perk we're ready oh yeah it did give us a free perk got mule kick all right not bad and a double points right as the end uh, the, the end the round is concluding that's the words i was saying anyway all right, let's go this way. Hello, Electric Cherry. Another double points. All right, nice. I'm going to do it. I'm going to buy the STG. I wanted to try it out earlier. Better time than ever. Oh, and we have Mule Kick as well. Nice. All these guns just feel so amazing with double tap. Oh, there's a room here I just haven't even noticed. What? PhD flopper room. I guess I am just that blind, huh? This STG is one-shotting the Plague Hounds. That's actually hilarious. There has almost definitely got to be a perk bottle in here. Like, I'm, I'm putting money on it. Finish off this soul box. I think the souls shouldn't just reset if we stop doing them, so... Perfect. Yeah, there we go. Done. And it, I, th I just assume it must have given us points. <gasps> oh, I found it. It's up there. That was a difficult one to spot. How the heck how am I supposed to find them if they're hiding them up that high? Wait, it turns out we're only missing one. Because I totally just, my brain wasn't functioning properly, apparently. We don't need to get one to four because we've already got a four perk limit by default. So the next one is in the Pack-A-Punch room, apparently. Somewhere, oh, I think I saw it, yeah. Little stamina bottle. Nice. So now we can actually just get all the perks, I assume. I'm fairly sure I haven't missed any. I'll tell you what I'm going to do, though. I'm going to buy the mystery box and see what we can get. Where is the box? It's over here, right? Yeah. What else do we have in there? I see a thunder gun. I see all the cell three cauterizer would be nice. We've got the M160. Don't actually know. Is this gun from Destiny? I think it might be, you know. I don't recognize it from the old... Oh, the XMGs. The dual wield. Can we actually alternate fire? Oh, we can't. It won't let me. That's cool, though. We got a brand new Destiny gun. XMGs are awesome. They're basically like, you used to be able to mount them if you were standing still and they would turn into a turret and you just spray down. And then we've got the Atlas 20 millimeter. You shouldn't be able to hip fire it. Yeah, no, you can't. You have to aim in to kill. One of the only guns in COD that can do that, but... The SVO, just the original Dragonov. Or well, not the original, but you know, a remake of the Dragonov. The AK from Advanced Warfare was pretty cool. What else we got in here? Teddy bear, okay. I'm gonna pick up Elemental Pop. Too iconic. Oh, let's go, double points. Yeah, I wanna try and buy as many box spins as possible, especially if there are Destiny guns in there. And I wanna try and get like the Cell 3. I don't care too much about the Thunder Gun. Not that it's bad, you know, obviously it's a gu an amazing gun, but we've seen the Thunder Gun a lot. We know what it does. We know what to expect kind of thing. So, how many zombies we got left? Just you? Oh, a fire cell. Perfect. Literally, right as I was about to spin anyway. 
All right, here we go. What are we going to get? The Atlas 20 millimeter again. Come on, game. Something a little bit different. The M16. Also very good in Advanced Warfare. The SN6. I'm good. The kind of stock standard SMG type thing. Uh, the Bulldog again. Oh, okay. Ox is actually in the Pack-a-Punch room, which is interesting. Since, you know, we wouldn't be able to get in here if we hadn't done the Easter egg. The SN6 again. Bro, give me something cool. HBRA3. This is probably one of my favorite guns from all of Advanced Warfare. Very low recoil and just high damage. Slow fire rate, but very, very solid. Might keep it, actually. But, I mean, we do have the XMGs. They're so iconic that I just don't want to get rid of them. Oh, <gasps> the Repulsor. This gun was cool. Like a, a laser SMG. I think if I press four, no, it doesn't do anything. I think it's also a burst rifle, but I could be wrong. Was this in Advanced Warfare or was this in Black Ops 3? I actually can't remember, but it's one of the coolest looking guns ever. Just the black on white neon is so cool. The TAC-19. Uh, you know what? I love you XMGs, but I kind of want to try this out. The effect it does when you shoot is just insane. Pew, pew. Eh, the reload's a bit too long. I mean, it's, it's a classic shotgun. Pretty iconic, pretty fun to use, but yeah, I think I'll kindly pass. Got another teddy, so we've got to go wait for the box to spawn in again, but really liking this map so far. So many perks, and considering how small it actually is, quite nice, because... The good thing about Destiny 2, it's very similar to Black Ops 3. I'm guessing the original Destiny was like this as well. I've only played two. I haven't played the first one, or at least not that I can remember. But the movement system of the maps is very similar to Black Ops 3's multiplayer because Advanced Warfare was a bit too, like, you know, you double jump and you go super zoomy in the sky. Black Ops 3 was more, you have like sliding, you've got wall running and stuff. It's a bit more calculated, I guess. Like they clearly thought about the movement system a little bit more. And that's kind of what Destiny has as well. Pretty well made from what I remember. This is like the worst spot for the mystery box. Jesus. Come on, what are we getting? Monkeys? Okay. I guess I can throw one now, can't I? And then I can spin in peace. But with mayhem? Oh, this this is actually the best gun in exo-zombies, I think. Just because when you max it out, it just does so much damage. Kind of want to keep it. I mean... Oh, you know, I, I love the Destiny gun, but it's a bit generic, isn't it? What are we going to get? What are we going to get? I see so many cool guns in here. The Ameli, sure. And there goes all the uh, the monkey bombs. Now, we don't have PhD yet, but in theory, how much damage is this going to do? Pew! Okay, killed pretty much the whole horde. This is the only soul box we need to do now. God, this is risky. This is very risky. Pew, again. You again? Oh my god. Thank god this gun is amazing. We've got PH uh, free perk again. I'm gonna go and buy PhD just because I don't want to accidentally down myself. We'll buy Deadshot as well because I want to try it out and see if it's the Cold War one. But yeah, I think that's all Soul Box is done. So, mayhem time. And is this the one where I slide? It'll actually... Oh no. <laughs> this is not the slide equals explosion one. Boom. Oh my god. This is so good. It just, it shoots so fast as well. Part of me wants to pack a punch this just to see what it would be like. Although we are a bit low on points. I love when mule kick glows green so you know which gun is your mule kick gun. Such a really, really good feature. I feel like that should be stock standard in every Black Ops 3 map. All right, what we got? AMR9, like a six round, oh, it's like a seven round burst, isn't it? SMG. I'll pick it up just to showcase it, but yeah. Oh, it's five round. Five round burst SMG. I see Ragnaroks in there as well. Those would also be cool. Or oh, he could just give me a teddy bear. I mean, yeah, that is an option, I suppose. <laughs> that guy went flying. Let's go AMR9. It's a cool gun, but because it's a five round burst, you just go through ammo so quickly. What perks have we not got yet? We've not got Vulture Raid. The extra points would be nice. Oh, we can actually see other perks as well, which is good. Where is stamina? Oh, it's here. Let's go. And box is right here as well. Nice. All right. Give me, give me. Oh. I can't buy it. <gasps> we must have missed one of the perk bottles. Either that or you can only have a certain number of perks, maybe. No, I'm pretty sure I'm just missing one because I'm a dumbass. Thing is, which one could I be missing? This is totally going to be in the most obvious location ever. I can guarantee it now. It says here there's one on a broken pipe in the catwalk. Isn't this the catwalk? Would it not be around here then? Where are the broken pipes, though? I guess we can open this door. Oh, this is literally just this area. Never mind. Oh, <gasps> I see it. I 100% see it. It's over there. Oh. Oh my god, that is a cheeky spot. I would I would never have noticed that if I didn't just like randomly look over at the dripping water because I was like, oh, that's cool. Well, there we go. Now we can buy what other perk is it we want? Oh yeah, stamina. 
I think that that will be basically it. We haven't got tombstone, so I wonder if there's an 11 perk limit. Maybe there's a secret hidden one, but from what I looked up, no one else has found it. Partially it makes me want to go and look for it, but I have absolutely no idea where it could be. But here we go, buy stamina up. Nice. I mean, my theory was it could maybe be outside the map somewhere over here, like off in the distance. You have to sort of really aim in to see it, but not entirely sure. God, this mayhem is so good. We can afford to pack a punch. What do we want to do? I guess we will make a turn and then not be able to get enough points. I was going to hit the box, but all right, we'll pack a punch the mayhem. Oh, just look at this. The bull. <laughs> Ten shots. Oh my god. I'm sorry, we have a dog around. You really think they're gonna stand a chance against this? Oh, you poor things. <laughs> oh my god, and if you aim, you can spam it. That's cool. So just pew, 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 pew. I can't see what's going on, but they're all dead. Okay, what are we gonna get now? Something cool, AK again. Anything else we missed in this PhD room? Because I kind of just skimmed past it very quickly. Oh, this is a door we can open. Since when? I had actually no idea, bro. Guess I am just a dumbass. We also had who's who earlier. That's a good point. I don't think there's a who's who machine though. But that means there's 12 perks or no, 13 perks. Does that mean there are two more bottles? So it looks like the Pack-a-Punch is the best tr uh, camping spot. I don't usually like to camp, but sometimes Elemental Pops being annoying. <laughs> it's spawning in turns, which are obviously very good, usually, but turned will not give you points. We've got a Thunder Gun. <laughs> well, okay. I mean, I know I said I didn't care much about the Thunder Gun, but I kind of want to see what it looks like in this camo. But to get points, let's use this Death Machine. Otherwise, we'll be here all day. The Thunder Gun gives you like 30 points per kill, which is really tragic. And... Of course, double points at the end of the round. Wouldn't have it any other way, game, would I? I guess we'll just spray outside the map. Maybe we'll hit a random lucky bottle somewhere. Hey, this repulse is pretty good for points, though. We don't actually have Widow's Wine. Oh, God, I just realized we don't have Widow's Wine. Just uh, pew the pew. There's another turned god. I love you, man, but you're stealing all my points. Also, I ran away from the box, even though we didn't get a teddy bear yet. So, gotta go all the way back. Good job, me. You. Okay, that's probably round. Actually flying through them now just because of, um, well, having all the perks, I guess. Sell three quarter riser. Let's fucking go. Ooh, you can fire this pretty fast. Normally it takes time to charge up and shoot uh, faster, but oh, I love this shotgun. It's like the ray gun of the Advanced Warfare Exo Zombies universe. Got the beautiful red camo on it. Look at this. This looks sick. Pew, 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 pew. It's, it's so good. I'm really glad I played this map now, actually, just because I've missed the AW gun so much. And it's not really the same when you go and play Exo Zombies again, because yes, it's the original guns, but I didn't care for the maps that much. They had some very cool features, that's the thing. Exo Zombies is not really about the maps, it's more about what's in them that makes them actually fun. It's a more arcadey type of zombies. And yeah, the anti-exo suit fucking EMP zombies are a nightmare, but still. I don't think there's any point in hitting the box then. Um, the S12. <laughs> very, very good shotgun, but I'm gonna repack a punch this just so we can get something on it. And I want to see if we get a different color. It's... No, it's red. All right, I'll do the thunder gun as well. Ooh! Ooh, okay, why does it have this camo on the Thunder Gun? Is it because they couldn't do the custom one? This looks sick though. Nice. It's funny how the map is called Exodus Blue as well, considering it's not blue at all. <laughs> it's very much orange. It's also kind of why I wanted a different camo on the Cell 3, because if I use this for the thumbnail, I'm worried it's just going to be a bit too, um, too bright. Max ammo, let's go. Oh yeah, I've got monkeys. I forgot all about that. I don't think there's a viable ending. We could actually utilize PhD here as well because we've got a slide location. Jump off and slide. Boom. Oh my God. Yeah, we killed a few. All right, let's repack and punch it again. Any new camo? No, it's literally just red. Oh, I have a question actually. One, have you played Destiny before? Two, did you like it? And three, is this camo from Destiny? Because that would actually make sense now I think about it. I mean, logically, you know, we're playing a Destiny map. Max ammo, easy peasy, round done. See, like over here, I could totally see them putting a perk bottle off in the distance. If anyone knows the other locations for the ones, like, because the Steam page I looked at, the community post only had seven, I think. And obviously seven plus four is 11 and I have 11 perks. So unless you're meant to save the soul boxes to last, that could actually be it because you get two free perks from the soul boxes. That would give you the last two that you can't normally get being Tombstone and Who's Who, which I kind of like, you know? It rewards you early game 
game if you want to have more firepower, but if you wait until the end, you can get two extra perks. As always, a link to this map will be in the description below. And like I said in the Wipeout video, thank you all so much for 60,000 subscribers. It's just absolutely insane to me. I haven't even got the 50k video out yet, and it probably won't be out for another week. Gonna fucking hit 100k before I even get the video out at this point, but it's not like I'm doing anything ridiculously crazy for 50k, but since we hit 60, I might make it a longer video and just like double up or I could do a separate one. I was thinking of maybe doing like a Q&A or something could be interesting, but thing is Q&As, they're not going to get many views. Like obviously that's not necessarily why I'm doing it. It's something where I'd probably want to do the Q&A as part of a video. Like let's say during this map, I was just answering questions like every few rounds, pretty much like that, I think would be a good format. Now I wonder where could we get a good thumbnail? The turned could stop killing all the zombies. I need them for the thumbnail, man. Thing is, I don't do anything crazy for the thumbnails and it's nice because people seem to appreciate the simplicity. I mean, some of my most viewed videos, they really don't have complex thumbnails. Some people spend hours doing them. I spend like, you know, I don't rush them, but I don't take that long. At most, maybe an hour and a half if I'm doing multiple revisions. All right, here we go. We could like slide on over and then can we get a screenshot here, maybe? Always difficult, but oh well, let's just uh, spray. I might actually use the thunder gun for the thumbnail. The thing is, you don't want to contrast, well, you do want to contrast colors. So having red on an orangey map is going to not stand out as much. Plus, it will keep the cell three a surprise, I guess. Double points. Let me guess. There's like one zombie left, probably. Yep. <laughs> just... It's, it's no matter what round we're on, it's always the same. Tragic, dude. Oh, well. All right, well, I think that's going to pretty much do it for the video. Thank you all so much for watching. We've collected basically everything other than me just going for high rounds, I guess. There's not much else to do. Let's use the mayhem a little bit just to finish it off. If you've enjoyed, though, please leave a like, subscribe if you're new. Check out this video on screen. YouTube says you might like it. And I will see you in the next video coming very soon. And a few more pew pews to end the video. <laughs>